quite a thing to, to see your own community have that much damage. As Fiona was toppling trees and ripping off the roofs in the communities of Glace Bay and New Waterford in Cape Breton, David Soller knew the need at his undercurrent youth centers in the area would be great. The two communities are home to some of the highest youth and child poverty rates in Nova Scotia. The damage in our town was so extensive. Trees, power lines down, and even to see like a week later we still have roads that are blocked and so many crews here working. But then to really see the amount of houses that also received damage and have neighborhoods where 10 plus roofs were ripped off. He says many children here depend on breakfast programs in their schools for nutrition, but when they close due to big storms, Soller springs into action. Without cell service, gas, or power, and a tree on his own house, he immediately pulled volunteers together. We knew that the storm may be bad, so we went and bought just some very simple things. Even we bought hundreds of hot dogs and buns and, and bread just to be prepared just in case. Of course, we weren't thinking a week later that there'd be still people without power, so obviously we didn't have enough. With about 15 people volunteering six to eight hours per day, they still managed to make 300 meals for lunches and suppers each day and are now seeing more businesses and people dropping off extra food. If you'd like to get involved or simply send a donation, you can do so by visiting the website undercurrentyc.com and clicking on Donate. Thank you.